Hello there and welcome back. In this video I will show how you can create a uh, tokenize of your application in Flask for Python. Flask in Python using for, it could be in a web application, but for me I'm almost used it like when I'm working with the web socket, uh, socket IO, and uh, when I'm creating the REST API. So for this I will show how we can create a simple uh, application here in uh, in Python with using the, the flask and it's just a rest so let's creating the the app here we just call it app and then we have got to go and we say from flask import flask I know this is a uh, the, the syntax highline is not working but that's fine for me name and then we need to say the root the first rule we want to build it's uh, just the, this one and then we say hello world the famous functions name here flask yeah. dockized and then we just say if name is equal to main then we go inside and say app run and debug is equal to true. You can always change this later. If you don't adding the host, what I'm doing here, that's meaning we're binding uh, default for local host, and then you can never connect into your to your application. So that's why we do this. And then we need the recommending file. I'm going inside to recommend file here. Inside here we want to say flask is equal to 0, 10, 0, 1. That's what we have right now. Now we need to create the Docker file. The Docker file should be from Python 3.8 and then we need to say copy. Um, copy anything to app and work dear should be app basically i'll use this that's much better let me copy this this way and uh, then we run pip install r and then the requirement the txt file and entry point the entry point should be a python and then we need to send in the, the command. The command we need to send in up should be the app.py. Then we have the the basic simple of how we can create the the Python application inside the Docker. So the next step we want it's going for the terminal and then we want to building the flask, uh, the flask sample, and after we have built it, we want to uh, deploy it with the composer so let, let's try that and to try that we need to go in for the docker compose and building the service and then we say service we call it uh, hello world and then we're saying uh, we need to say build and then we need to context and then we just need this one. We need to build in the Docker file inside the root here. That's working pretty good. And then we need the ports. The port should be 5000. And if you ask why, I will say 5000. And we don't have any ports inside here. It's because the default port for Flask is uh, 5000. So that's why we do this. And uh, I think maybe that's it. So let's try to go in for the. What is one? Docker com compose up. Let's see about getting the error of what we're doing here. And then it looks like it's uh, up and running. So let's go for the browser and test. And I need to find my browser. And let's see local host. Whoops, local host. 5000. Mm. 
yeah, now it's working. Good. So now you can see the flask dockerized. It's working. And if I'm going back and kill it down, and going back for the browser here, and reload, you can see it's not found. So what we have done now, it's uh, basically creating a Docker Compose file where you can sitting and test your code directly inside the Docker container. And in some reason that's fine, but I love to do it at myself. But it could be many reasons why I do this. And on my work, I do it because we have a legacy system and I'm trying to basically move the legacy system into new code and I need to be sure it's working 100% inside Docker and we run a lot of microservices so I have a pretty good reason to do this and that's why I'm doing it but you can see I'm coding on Windows and everything I do it's working pretty well so about you running Linux on Windows and Mac and it doesn't matter is the matter is how you resolve your problems and find a way around it that's just a little pep talk from me and I really hope you enjoy this video and I really hope you want to subscribe uh, if you don't know how to subscribe go in the right corner below in the video and press on the thing then you subscribe I really hope you hit the like button and share button too so your friends know what you're watching and your friends can learn to, to code and of course if you have any questions please make a comment I will try to answer them and if you have any questions make a comment thank you so much and hope to see you next time